Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone uh, out there uh, and welcome to my YouTube channel Imam Sharif Shahata and my wonderful uh, wife Mandy Johnston that I invite her today and hopefully uh, she will be um, it, today she's a guest but hopefully if we succeed and we find that um, it benefit out uh, there everyone with conversation and topic that we choose that she will be joining me uh, more often for our um, um, channel inshallah and uh, we choose a topic today the uh, modern modern love uh, modern love like the song Mo modern love <laughs> and uh, the purpose behind it that uh, we uh, see the need to talk about it in the United States for the young generation here that they grow up here and born here and marriage and uh, uh, the issue that we are hearing from parents and from a uh, young generation that they are not able to find the right match and or 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 they just don't want to get married or they don't want to get why you think they don't want to get married because it's slim pickings out there <laughs> 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 no, because okay, so because you know, um, for women, anyways, um, you know, uh, a lot of women are very educated. They have good careers. They're making educated. good money. I'm, I'm only talking about the women right now. Okay. We'll talk about the men okay. separately. Okay. okay. So okay. for the women, you know, they have a good education. They have a good career. They're making good money. They don't need marriage out, out like of necessity. Okay. You know, um, so they're happy, you know, the way the way that they are and they don't want to, you know, feel confined by um, by a marriage um, because for, you know, I mean, not that marriage has to be confining, but it is for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, that these women are afraid that if they were to get married, they would lose their freedom. Well. That's a good point, but also for, as an imam, I find the need from both sides, male and female, and I uh, get mainly I get more uh, brothers that uh, they come to me and tell me they want to get married, mm -hmm. but I don't get a lot of sisters coming to to say the same thing because, like you said, maybe they are not interested, or maybe because they are shy to say that, or they are busy. But the problem is that everybody we have to go to the sunnah. You know, this is the sunnah that, that, that you know, that, you know, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Ya ma'ashar al-shabab, ita balaghtum al da'a fa tizagu. You know, oh youth, if you reach a certain, uh, you know, like if you're like puberty and you are able and you're capable uh, financially, mentally, physically, then you should get married because that's the best for you. But we, okay, the other issue though is, and this all comes back to women who are educated and successful. You, you do have women who are educated and successful who want to get married, but have trouble finding a man. That's true. That's so true. that's that's their other issue. It's not like we're not getting women who, who want to get do married. Think, do you think that the, the Muslim brothers uh, don't want the successful professional? I believe that you have had men specifically tell you that they didn't want an educated woman. They don't say that loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, they don't all say that, but no, no, no. but it, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, tell the truth, right? I, well, I'm not what, saying tell anybody's business, what, yeah. but but it's, it's sometimes that that happens. Um, so, uh, so a lot of men, I think they want a woman to have babies and take care of the house and stuff like that and then when it comes to like a very successful woman they're like well you know she's working outside the house she's not going to want to like keep my house for me or you know something like that she's not going to want to move into my parents house with me you know and stuff like that you know yeah. um so that's where there's some some difficulty and then and then for those women who don't want to get married that's why they don't want to get married like no i don't want to move well into your i don't think house. i don't think that only the, this is a reason i i'm sure i agree with you and this that's is why there's some difficulty but there's also like, yeah there also that if they don't get the pressure also this girls from their parents mm -hmm. and saying you are getting old you 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 have to get married uh, mm -hmm. your cousin get married and you are not getting married yet 
it, they this feel, doesn't make us feel good when we hear they, things yeah, like that. Yeah, you feel like you're under pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't even raised Muslim, and I got that. From, yeah. my, from my mom. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's also in the culture, in the American culture? Yeah, it's, the it's, in, it's, a, it's an American culture. Well, okay, so it's not just American culture. <clears throat> I was raised Christian, so Christians also believe in marriage. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're, like, the, like Christians aren't, don't get married at the rates that Muslims do, but we get pressured by our moms. <laughs> I see. I like see. hardcore. Well, so I, I was like, what's wrong with me? Well, I believe, I believe if this is, done right Mm -hmm. it's the best for everybody if you get married with the right person in the early age you will enjoy it you will actually Mm -hmm. get to know him very well and you will have you pursue the happiness the sad you still need a good match though exactly but where are you gonna find the match if 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 right now what I hear and the, the purpose for for us to do this video that I hear that every channel that's out there uh, either internet, either groups, either uh, match, Islamic match, and stuff like that, they have very bad experience mm-hmm. and very bad people involved in it that they hear and see and uh, experience. I, yeah, very bad like, things. okay, online dating services are just like, uh, I just feel like they're trouble no matter what. Exactly. Not just the Muslim ones, like, all of them it's online dating is is scary like that's where serial killers hang out <laughs> like, i mean i don't know about the muslim ones but like the like the conventional ones yeah. like you hear all these stories about yeah. about like you know women getting killed and stuff like that like there's i'm not making it up <laughs> not, no it's scary she's it's gonna be the scary. first and last in my episode here <laughs> all right ladies um, you know just yeah. maybe you know um keep somebody nearby when you go on your date with a stranger. Wow, well, they are not like supposed to... to go on date. Come on, this is it. Oh. <laughs> right. No, let's Bring let's it back it. to your parents. No, I don't think that's an issue with Muslim dating sites yeah. Yeah. as much as it is like maybe women getting like harassed yeah. or, or the guys just looking for a hookup instead of actually looking for marriage, in which yeah. case, why are you on a Muslim site? You know, yeah. <laughs> go yeah. go onto the sites that the serial well, killers think, go on. I think that's why imams and masajid should be involved and parents should be involved with, with limits that don't make the kids feel pressured. Yeah, don't pressure them and don't yeah. tell them like, you know, don't yeah. tell your daughters that they're an old maid and like that you're disappointed it's in them It's not only, actually, to be honest with you, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but mm-hmm. it's not only parents giving pressure on the girls. Yeah. Also, because I, from my experience, uh, I have uh, brothers and mm-hmm. young youth, also men, uh, they are actually getting pressure from their oh, parents. Okay. And they said also they don't want to get married because oh. they are being forced from their parents. You have to get married to your relative here or your friend oh. here or your family here. Yeah. Then it's, it's, there is a lot of combination that making this topic very hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, the massages feel like we are not supposed to involve in that because the trouble and the problems that can be caused by that. Yeah, you know, but who else is going to oversee exactly. it? Exactly. It's a, it's it's an issue and then the young youth is say where should I find the person? And then when we find them they are going stuff for Allah in a relationship out of Islam. Mm-hmm. Then we blame them and say they are bad people. But what happened is we uh, disappoint them and we give up on them or we said we didn't give them the hand. That's mm-hmm. why the purpose for this video that we want to involve everybody and we want to open the eyes for everyone, from parents, mm-hmm. from imams, from masajids, that the imam is not only supposed to go and give a khutbah and five daily prayer and then leave and have nothing to do with family and uh, you know matching and all stuff mm-hmm. like that. I get criticized because you think we. I always like he's a bad man. This is a woman. Get married. Alhamdulillah. That's, uh, that's Allah literally Allah. what he does. <laughs> let, let me be clear. It's parents and masajids and also the young youth. Mm -hmm. All of us have to involve. They have to help themselves, Mm -hmm. and they have to be involved too. When I tell the young generation, come over for halaqa, or come for a chat with the group, they don't have time. Yeah, the, yeah, it's it's super important that you're involved in some way in you know in Muslim organizations. Uh, you know, you join and be involved yes. in your MSA in college. You yes. come to uh, halakas and uh, groups and things like that with the masjid, involved so you can so you can meet other, Oh yeah, vol- do volunteer work. Food volunteer <laughs> with me at the food pantry because I need help yeah. <laughs> at Masjid Ali. <Alia>. It's <laughs> This way. 
you actually meet other families and mm -hmm. meet other groups and be involved and be known what your personality is then the imam knows that this person talk too much then they need a person who listen too much you know it's like you know or you have two people who talk too much and don't listen to each, match other. each other <laughs> that it's a lot of involvement in this uh, that can make it happen but also if everybody push mm -hmm. if the imam push by mistake and he's like you know doesn't know that this is you know different culture or different mentality mm -hmm. uh, or the parents keep pushing and the kids grow up here and they don't know the path back the and that, culture. But also another issue with parents is sometimes like they have these rules, mm -hmm. you know, like that actually prevent their kids from getting married. Like maybe they've got somebody that they're interested in, they want to marry, but they're like, oh no, she's not from the same culture as you or something culture, like that. That's, that's, a, that's a, huge, a big issue. That's a huge issue. You know, yeah. yeah. I get it a lot that it is, they, they condition that this culture, that we need this culture, not this culture. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes imams in other masajid their hands tied yeah. because the 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 culture will not get out of this countries mm -hmm. then you know arab is not very <laughs> interesting in that too it's like they are very interested too but i mean it's not you saying arabs do do that or don't also do that? arab have the same thing okay. like you country. have to be egyptian or you have to or you just have to be Arab. Yeah, or... was, let's, let's, I want my YouTube to succeed. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I, no, no, I don't know. No, to be honest with you, everybody races from their from the, the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody yeah. says, like, if they are from my culture, they know my food, they know my culture, they will respect that. Yeah, but you that. can teach those things. But what I'm saying is, if their kids grow up here, mm -hmm. then they don't know the back home culture. Yeah. They are not related yeah, to this culture. Yeah. What if, exactly. Yeah, we all know hamburgers and hot yeah. dogs. Then and the pizza. parent, the parent should not involve in that part. Say you have to marry Egyptian, or you have to marry Pakistani, or Bangladesh, or mm -hmm. Indian, or w whatever Morocco. Yeah. You know, you can't say that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is also that I hear it a lot, and I will say it, you know, loud. That kids tell me, why should I get married? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all. You know, I never see in my family a successful marriage or marriage is always uh, falling apart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and also I hear it a lot. Why should I get married? I have my own money and I have my own income. I don't need a man to spend money on me. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very successful. I have money. And the others, they say, I don't need to get married to sleep around stuff for a lot. Mm -hmm. Do, then do the, many people actually say that to you? Okay, to, we know it happens, me, but... No, 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 no. <laughs> How many no, people say that to, to the imam? No, alhamdulillah, no, 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 alhamdulillah <laughs> that they don't say it to Yeah, and we, did, we know though. No, but you see, <laughs> the reality is uh, you live in a society, open society, the, the boyfriend and girlfriend, and in work environment, mm -hmm. and in school, and in college. And parent knows, the imam knows that this person in a relationship, what can I do? You know, it's mm -hmm. like the problem is... I want to prevent them from that. Right. And the problem is when they don't find in their religion circle the, the right person, mm -hmm. they go out and the person, sometimes they don't want to get become Muslim. Then mm -hmm. the problem is they want, don't want to put pressure on the person to be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Then we have another issue here. Yeah. Then there, there's many issues in this topic that's actually make me you know it's a nightmare mm -hmm. but if if everybody face the reality and become honest and straightforward for the issue how can we solve it parents said my kids is perfect they don't have a relationship and they don't have dating and all stuff like that sure. and the kids doesn't say to the parents listen you know i know a person and he's a very good person but he's not from your culture Mm -hmm. Because he's from her culture, yeah. but not from the, her parent culture. Right. They are sharing the culture of the United States, but mm -hmm. they are not sharing the whatever culture it is. Yeah. Then nobody be upset with me. Then we need to be open for this if we need solution, if we mm -hmm. need uh, uh, to go back to Islam and to have the blessing in relationship. Mm -hmm. The blessing in relationship in, 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 in Christianity, in Judaism, in Islam, that if the proper thing is when a man and a woman meet, they get to marry it, then the blessing of God to be, you know, good and protect them from the harm. Mm -hmm. But if we go around and sleep around and dating and all stuff, you will not have the barakah and the blessing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it requires a lot of people to involve, right? 
and a manhunt in one. What do you think? <laughs> a lot of people. You need a lot of people involved in your relationship. No, not, not a lot of people, but I'm saying everybody. No, yeah, it's in a, in it's good to have people help you. It's you know, it's it's very hard when you're sort of like thrown out on your own and you're expected to figure out everything out for yourself. Cause that, that is American culture. Like that's what it's like here. Yeah. You know, like, a, like growing up Christian, like I said before, like you're, you are expected to get married, but you're growing up in America where people don't get married anymore mm-hmm. and you have to figure it out for yourself. There is no like arranged marriages or, or like, let me set you up with, I mean, blind date is a thing, but it's not something that, it's like happens a lot. So it's not like nobody's really guiding you and like helping you and trying to set you Is up. Is the church, the, the, the leader of the church involved to actually match people? Or not? No, there's no matchmaking. Yeah. There's nothing like that. You're See, just, you just you just figure it out involved. on your own. <laughs> and, you know, you marry like an atheist or something and try to get them to come to church with you or something. <laughs> and maybe they do, maybe they don't. You know, it's it's weird. So the nice thing about Islam is that, you know, we do give that support. And we should be giving that support to people, but we need to do it in like a, in like a, a non-judgmental way, way yes. you know, where you're not like pressuring and making people feel bad. And, you know, especially like don't make girls feel bad because they haven't found somebody yet, you know, just because they didn't want to, you know, marry the first jerk they saw, you know, who, who might have ended up beating her later on or something, you know, mm-hmm. because she's being a little bit picky to find somebody who actually matches with her. That's not a bad thing. Like, so don't make her feel bad about that. You know, and and you know, I guess don't pressure your sons either. I don't know. I don't know from the male perspective on that. Yes, he should be getting married and not dating and stuff like that. But he should also find somebody that's good for him. I think we have to remember that by the blessing of Allah and the dua, the supplication for because every single soul um, guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the risk and the husband or the wife and the time and the time you know the happiness or sadness and the death doesn't mean that you sit down home and waiting for him to knock the door Mm -mm. no you have to involve and you have to get out there and you have to have meetings and you have to involve in massages and social and stuff like that but we have to remember that making supplication parents for their kids and the kids making supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, please, I need the right person that you fear Allah, that he will take care of me, that he will respect me, that he will listen to me, mm-hmm. that he will not be selfish. Mm-hmm. And no matter what happened back in experience that you see uh, in your house or in your cousin or your sister or wh- whatever bad experience that you saw, that doesn't mean that will happen to you. Because everyone have to can can change the qadr, what what's written. Mm-hmm. If it's written that you will not get married, but you will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I need to be protected. I need the right woman, the righteous woman. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach Rasulullah sallam that the you know hasana fi dunya as zuga salha. The the, the the credit or the hasana, the, the, the good deed in this dunya is a righteous woman. Then how you get the righteous woman? When you change yourself and become a good man and subligate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make you meet the right person. Like mm-hmm. you're giving me thing here, inshallah. But it's, we have to remember that from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the person himself, that say, you know what? I'm not gonna go to the wrong place. I'm not gonna follow the, the desire and the society. Like if the culture, dating and open society that I can date and I can sleep around, I'm not going to follow that. Mm -hmm. If all of them okay with that, I am not okay with that. Mm -hmm. Then he protect himself and Mm -hmm. protect also sisters out there. Because the the woman out there, if she's not your your future wife, she is your sister Mm -hmm. in Islam, in society. Then respect women. Respect women. Then it comes from home. Mm-hmm. It's come from a masajid. We teach that to our young generation. And that's where the barakah come back. We are missing barakah in life. Mm-hmm. We are missing it because the, the, we, we, we only teach our kids. I'm taking over here. I'm sorry, but you're my guest. <laughs> but, you know, but we always teach our kids money, degree, and money, and degree. And then the kids follow this, what the parents tell them, money, and a d- degree, mm-hmm. and a job. Then they follow that, 
and then they fall in the trap that they cannot find a match because they are not uh, equal in education they are not equal in this and they also forget the time of Allah mm -hmm. and the time of subligation you understand mm -hmm. then it's we all of us make mistakes mm -hmm. but when we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then uh, you know we remind ourselves that we are weak and our parents want us to be happy then they said go and get married because you, you, you don't want to be alone and you, you, you're getting old and you cannot have a kids or something like that. And you tell me something that girls have more pressures in time than the boys. That's yeah, because said. like you hit a certain point and it's like you're an old maid now. Yeah. Like, oh, you're too old. Um, but I don't think that guys have that, you know, like you're never, a man is never too old. If you can be, <laughs> you know, like you can be like ancient like my, and like you're not, you're not ancient, <laughs> but like, I'm just saying like, it's like, it's, it's like, yeah. a, it's like men are never considered too old. Well, you know? inshallah, uh, there'll be more episode about that and more to discussion about that because it's not, uh, we have to find uh, a way and a solution and to help the young generation not to only critique them and tell them, you know, you're not getting married, you're not having time. They, they actually need the support because when they go out, they don't find the right person. Uh, the internet is not the right place. The match uh, sites that are out there are scary. They're scary and they don't have a good experience. Then it's, we don't want to let them be by themselves. Mm -hmm. We need to give them hand and we need to give them support and we need to trust them. And we need to remind them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then I think it's, it's, it's a very important topic. We're going to address it more. And we're going to get back to that. If we get to, to the audience and, and everyone to subscribe and say that they like this um, um, channel here. And uh, the, the meeting here, the video here. Then hopefully we can do more. And we can address more in, uh, in, in the short come inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.